we want to humbly congratulate President Lula for once again ascending to the position of presidency. And unlike the king and queen of, of England and the European monarchs, th this man has risen because the people have chosen him. We like to congratulate the citizens of Brazil because you have shown us what triumph is, what it's like to overcome those terrorists called the USA. United States of America has been causing atrocities from Vietnam till now. Even in the Ukraine war, there is American forces that forced that war. If America will just mind their own business, keep your army in America, keep your navy in America, we will have world peace from Syria, Lebanon, countries in Africa, the Middle East. There is Americans who are causing issues. They tried in Brazil, arrested Lula, uh, charged him with frivolous uh, cases. Uh, they tried it in Venezuela as well, trying to rig the elections. If you look at Lula's case and you compare that to that of Jacob Zuma, the arms deal, you will find word for word charges that are the same. Remember, when there is a leader who calls for autonomy, sovereignty, saying that the commodities of that country must be used and benefit and owned by the citizens of that country. America, France, and the rest of the allies of America and UK, they will try their best to kill that person. They will try their best to character assassinate. And then they, they form up these charges, these charges. In South Africa, we have a, a president that bribed judges. They are sealing their bank statement because they know there are funds that should not be in there. <clears throat> so we are congratulation, congratulating the people of Brazil. And we, we hope that Lula's ascension to the president sends a strong message to America, Europe, <clears throat> and all other uh, factions associated with America. Americans invade other countries, kill, burn villages, drop nail palm bomb, and and then loot their resources. How many the Americans will tell you they have oil in the Middle East? How? Um, in Africa, we make we have trillions of dollars on commodities every year, but those commodities are still owned by the countries who colonized Africa. That is why we will never say Putin is a terrorist because Russia has never invaded and owned a part of Africa. South Africa has the worst inequality in the world because thanks to Ma Mandela, we as the majority are screwed. Mandela legitimized colonization by saying they can keep the commodities. What is a country where the, the electorate only has access to tax money? It's never enough. It's never enough. So you'll find we are starving. Uh, highest unemployment in the world. Why? Because our government can only access taxes. Until we take ownership of the commodities in South Africa, we will continue to suffer until African nations rise up. We have the likes of Gaddafi and Beatrice Lumumba that were killed by Americans. Why? Because they said, we will not do what Mandela did. We will not allow for them to continue to own parts of Africa. We're calling on other nations who have heard the call, who understand economics, who understand the political history and the effects of colonization and neocolonization. We have people like Kanye West who tell you slavery is a choice. Fine, say our enslavement was a choice, but the deals that were signed, the companies who took our sugar, who took our cotton, our tobacco, our gold, our mines, our silver, our platinum, our diamonds, those contracts are still 
in existence, Anglo De Beers, Anglo Americans still control our minds. Why? When it can be seen that they were attained by the regime that came before us. It doesn't make sense for them to continue to own a part of Africa. So Kanye, if you think slavery was a choice because of the 400 years, explain to us how we can get rid of these contracts. Kanye was able to get rid of two billions of dollars in his wealth. Help us to get rid of all the people who own parts of our country, parts of our continent. We're calling on other areas in the Middle East. We're calling on the people in Iraq and the Taliban continue to fight the good cause because without economic control, without economic authority, your people will continue to starve. The narrative that America is always in the right is changing. Men like Lula, men like Jacob Zuma, they are calling us to change. Americans loot, Americans kill, and all the while calling it peacekeeping. How do you explain the American army going to Venezuela? How? How do you explain that America gets to say they own oil in the Middle East? That's why they killed the, who, who I think it, it's, it's Hussein. They said he's interrupting with their oil. Congratulations, people of Brazil. You are inspiring us. You are inspiring us to take up the good fights. You are inspiring us patriots in Africa who say, Africa, my wibu, we want commodities and South Africa, in Africa, to be owned and controlled and benefit the people in, in South Africa. Queen Elizabeth was given the largest diamond ever found in Africa. Why? This diamond was given by an illegitimate res regime. In 1994, it should have been brought back to our country, even if it's stored in the museum. It's Africa's wealth is in the hands of people who are not Africans, and yet Africans are starving. Africa is rich, but Africans are poor. Why? It's time to fight the narrative. So congratulations, Lula. You are inspiring African nationalists. You are inspiring people who are patriotic, who will say the end to American terrorism. Americans are terrorists. When you're country goes and fights thousands of miles from America, Americans will say, our soldiers are fighting for us overseas. Why? Why are your soldiers outside of American borders? Why? See, they're so quick to call Russia bad for invading, but they have been invading from Vietnam until today. America's army must stay in America. Congratulations, people of Brazil. We are so ecstatic and hopeful for your rule. And we hope that in South Africa, people like President Ramaphosa may fall and never rise up. Because when they do, it exacerbates the economic prejudice that the majority have.